Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a broken weapon. Apparently, there's no more bosses in the game, and let's go. Let's get to it, shall we? We are the only boss in the game at this point. <laughs> we had to fight ourselves too early. If we would fight Mirror Alucard now, we'd surely be in trouble. Oh, he's a fight again. Do we get to fight upside down, Alucard? We do. And there's a really delightful room before him that has way too many enemies, and it would lag the shit out of the PS1. Nice. So you said we're collecting body parts now, correct? Yes. So we can summon and defeat Dracula? Yes. Which was... Richter's so, goal. So we are helping summon Dracula faster so we can beat him up. Yes. Which was what Richter was trying to do. But no more so Shaft. Richter was under mind control. Right. But aren't we still doing what Shaft wants? Yes. How how can we be sure that we are not also under Shaft's control? This would be a different game, Danny. You're putting way more thought into this than most people would. I enjoy that. <laughs> but I know that Shaft has not shafted me. So I, I know I'm safe. Okay. You really look like a Star Trek thing when you when you go into a mist form. That was a very perfect description of it. It's like <laughs> the alien life form has gotten onto decks twelve and thirteen. Uh, uh, seal off those decks with a level eight force field immediately. It's not working. They're drawing power from our core. <laughs> They're drawing power from our warp drive. It's like every alien mist. Every time an alien sneezes, they lose power to the warp core, <laughs> and they're in mortal danger. It's pretty entertaining. I'm speaking more about Voyager, because that's the one I've been watching. Yeah. Voyager has a lot of ship problems. Yeah. And I get, I get losing warp drive really early in every fight, because it just... They remove the option of leaving. Mm -hmm. Unless there's, like one of them on the ground somewhere that they can't leave. Yeah. If there's that, then the warp core won't be in trouble. It'd be great if you could just get two and just dual wield them. I mean, there's a very high chance of that before we leave this library. Yeah, the drop rate was really nice to you. As you said, off camera, could, it could be the 119 luck that I have helping out. Have you done the game with this, uh, like, by skipping the death room before? Mm -hmm. Okay. If I come back to do another playthrough on a copy that I already own, I usually do that. Okay. But usually, if I get like a new copy, like when I got the the when I downloaded this one, I you know I played through it legit. You do at least one legit run before you before you break it. Yeah. Well, that's that's cool. Yeah, last time I did it, I was doing a a run where I used nothing but great swords, which was kind of fun. Hmm. If I challenged you to do a playthrough with only punching weapons, no, I've already done that. And yes, right there, I just got it, the fist of the Tolkas. <laughs> Is that the uh, the best? <laughs> Get out of here, Alcar Shield. We don't need you anymore. That's the one that crits like crazy. You were saying. Yeah. Like Okay. Ready to see some butterflies in the sky? Because mm. it's about to be a reading rainbow up in here. <laughs> I am not impressed. Hey, man. Just gotta give it time. Like when I fight Funkenstein over here. Ow. There we go, there's one. There's another one. <laughs> Things are starting to hurt you now. <laughs> Until that happens. <laughs> You know, I kind of miss the lag 
from getting those. It always made it feel a little more powerful, you know, like even the game can control the power of the orb. Right. Yeah, what are these? You're starting to pick up a lot of those. Uh, they're just, like, temporary stat increases. Okay. So, useless. This actually. That's, uh, what we in the business call a Psybeam. That was a dick laser. There it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good for him. Would you say it's akin to a cybug? Cybugs. Do you know what a cybug looks like? <laughs> Milo Thatch. Milo Thatch, cybug. That'd be terrifying. Hey, I remember this room. Can you still look out for the. Oh, wait, it's not here. Yeah, it's right here. That's a shame. Remember, it's low rule. Is Upside Down Bird there? No, unfortunately. It's low rule. There are no. There are no. Uh... There's no birds. There's no birds, there's no Bees. telescopes. A hammer and sickle? No, it's the shuttle. I just... I didn't realize. Yeah, this room's suspicious. The dim sunset. Would you play this game with a frame release button? Like in our old emulator days? That, and I'm totally down. Oh, strawberry! This room's not the most exciting room. <laughs> it's, it's not. It seems like this would be a wolf room. But she'd have to jump at that. Look at that! Oh, two enemies! Can you just wolf run up this? Maybe? With those skulls, I'd rather not. Because they they really hurt. Yep, and there's those. Imagine a Zelda style. Another iron ball. They thought to call it the ball. I guess those must be uh, the balls required to put Dracula back together. I guess. What? One went a little premature. Is that a fifth blue door? It is. It's really paying off those dividends. Things look like they'd hurt. Yeah. Yes, lost painting again. This time the mist is red. Yes. Red mist. Uh, sorry, it's mist. Code red. <laughs> hey. hey! By the way, I, I know it was a while ago at this point, especially from when this video comes out. Uh, I tried that voodoo. Mountain Dew voodoo? Yeah. What'd you think? Tastes weird. I, uh, 
I also tried it. First time I've had soda in many years. Uh, it tastes exactly like liquid Skittles. Yeah, it tasted weird. I wasn't a, a huge fan of it. It's not... I don't dislike it, but I'm not, like, super crazy about it. I would certainly drink it again if I were... A soda a, drinker. A soda drinker, yeah. I missed the Mountain Dew red, white, and blue that tasted like the arcane resource from Diablo 3. And it was the <laughs> same color. <laughs> it was pretty... It's pretty good. If I'm not mistaken, this current one's a mystery flavor, and at the end of the month, uh, at the end of October, they're, they're gonna say... What it the flavor is. actually was? It's Skittles. It's definitely Skittles. You found, like, you madman, you found a way to turn Skittles into a Dew flavor. Mountain Dew is the only soda factory to mix its soda by waterfall. I don't believe you. I don't either. You shouldn't. I'm quoting Willy Wonka. <laughs> Willy Wonka is not a real man. I'm still that we him. know of. I hope he's not a real man. So you went up, and now you're going down. Yes. So I thought there might be something in that room aside from a bag of peanuts. <laughs> oh, nuts. Oh, nuts. I, I see what you did there, and I somewhat appreciate it. Let's see what this map's looking like right now. Nice. Good 20%. But there's like, there's no doors or anything that you can't go through. It's just a matter of moving through the castle at this point, right? Yes. Okay. Do, do. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. It's a little bit slower than the Smash version. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's getting dangerous now, folks. Hey, you can't fly fast as a bat yet. Are you supposed to have that ability? Uh, I don't have it. He can have it, though. Dude definitely takes a beating. Well, that was fun. Yeah. That was about as tough as a normal creature. Zirconia. Oh. I mean, you were... Zircon. You were like 85% right. Yeah. You know, I was expecting something to be right there. Now I'm kind of disappointed. I'll put something there for you. Thank you. Yeah. That's a lot of somethings. I'm so hungry, I could eat a dark octopus. What is this room? This is crazy. The octopus room. What is this, a Mario Maker level? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, try doing this room on the PS1. Oh, God. The frames just die. If you had, like, your shield and just run through everything. I mean, we can make that a possibility if you want to see it. Kit, would walking back in this room reload everything? Yes. I think we need to see it just once as, like, a, a therapy. So how how do you actually activate this? There, just going to put all the things we use down here. You just equip both, and then you hit both the buttons. <laughs> equip both the Alucard shield and... The shield and the shield rod. Whatever shield you want. Oh. And then you just hit both buttons, and then the things happen. Okay. Damn it. Do it right. Here we go. Oh no! It oh, doesn't work. Their hitboxes are too low. Or the, yeah, their hitboxes are too low. I can't do it. Wow. 
That is a shame. Sorry, folks. <laughs> well... Because that would have been pretty great to see. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> this is a... Alucard mowing the lawn. The, the dark octopus lawn. Nice. <laughs> I bet you get pretty good experience in this room. You do? But there's an even better room. I don't know why they came back. How did they just come back? How can she slop? This is the way you were coming from. Did you not need to go off to the right there? There was only a sword over there. Okay. It was the dark blade. Ew, water on the ceiling. Gross. It's called condensation. Condensation. You idiot. It's condensation. It's, it's on the outside. On the outside. Don't make me come back there and slap you with my ring hand. <laughs> That's family guy, right? It is. Very old family guy. As our buddy would say, back when family guy was good. <laughs> you specifically cannot bring up family guy without him saying that the older family guy is. Ah, uh, so he is one of those people that considers himself a purist. I, I, I wouldn't say that. I'm inclined to agree. I don't like, I don't care for the new stuff. But I try not to bring up that opinion every time it gets mentioned. By the way, Neutron Bomb. Mm-hmm. Good. All I need is a super-powered mind and the mechanical canine. And it will be good. And that half a million uh, duplicator. Force of Echo! That's the fast bird. No, I just break stuff in my echo now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just when you thought this ability couldn't get any better. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Noggle mirror? I don't know what that is. I'm gonna equip that. I think it might be down. Because there's the new. Oh, wait. What is this one again? German two handed sword. It's pretty cool. Noglamir, where are you, friend? Is it not a weapon? Oh. Dwarven necklace defense was 15. Oh yeah, let's put that on. <laughs> That's right. When Eric and I were playing through this last year, and we, we both pretty much uh, did like the, the whole like platinum that you could on this in like two nights, we found that necklace and we were like trying to like min-max ourselves like the best we could. <laughs> Taking ones. I just have a little. It's for the best. You good, John? Mm hmm. It's, it's very soothing music. It is. What a great weapon. <laughs> Man, just... It's got such a long reach. I always imagined it'd be like a point blank sword, like you'd have to get in and then you'd mess him up, but no. Yeah, they, they've tried to put other, like, variations of this 
this sword in other Castlevania games. Isn't Zombie. that a boss? It was. We, we're going to start running into the first two bosses down here. You mean up here? It is. <laughs> it's death. So you've made it this far. In the name of your father, cease this foolishness. Not while there is breath in my body. Then, for the master, I'll feast on your soul this night. Oh, those cute little sickles. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. Oh, okay, several forms. Yeah, like that's gonna be oh. oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Also fast, but that looks painful. Well, ladies and gentlemen. I think once <laughs> Kevin finds a nice safe spot. Uh He's not going down. Come on, Nick. I believe you, Nick. Nick, get off your phone, do something, Nick. <laughs> well, there he goes. There he goes. There's a switch. Perhaps I should press it. Beautiful. Thanks, Nick. All right, everyone. Y'all have a good day. Me too. A good boy. Hey, have a good one. <laughs>